I've told you before many times, my friends, I've stopped attending church. That's why I have my own online church. That's why I have a church. Uh, my flock is out there 24-7 as long as I'm awake, seven days a week. I'm putting out word. I'm praying for people, doing a pastor's job, a watchman's job. Because the church has turned into a perverted den of Satan. I can't find any church anywhere anymore that's a true Christian church. It's insane. It's, it's pathetic. I can't even find an online church besides my own that I would recommend to anybody because they're just, it's turned into just a big den of Satan. Here's the latest. A U.S. Christian pastor performs naked at a Christian women's church conference. You, you heard it right. You saw the title of the video. You saw the, the um, thumbnail. Here's how it went down. During an I Love New York celebration at a recent women's conference hosted by Hillsong, a Hillsong pastor was on stage dressed up as the Naked Cowboy. Now, the Naked Cowboy is a guy in New York City that wears only cowboy boots, a hat, and underwear, and he covers the guitar over his underwear to give the illusion that he's naked, that he's naked. And this person, this pastor, right in front of the crowd, just did it up and right in front of the women's conference. Unbelievable. But, you know, I'm not surprised at anything anymore. That came close to surprise me. And the sad thing is the actual Naked Cowboy, his manager, claims that the Naked Cowboy is also a pastor and claims that he would never do that in church. Well, here's my question, Naked Cowboy. Hmm. If you're really a pastor and you wouldn't perform with the illusion of being naked, almost naked anyways, in a church, why are you doing it in public and groping women and squeezing their butts and your pictures and everything else? The, the whole church, pastors, Christians, 99%, 97% to 99% drive me out of my mind. Like I said, it's turned into a den of Satan and I'm so sick and tired. No wonder people mock Jesus Christ. No wonder they hate Christians. No wonder they hate the church. No wonder they hate the Bible. No wonder they don't believe in heaven or the rapture or harpazo catching away, whatever you want to call it. This world is toast. So many Christians have so much to answer for. At the great white throne judgment backsliders, not to, not to be missy, you're not going there. The great white throne judgment backsliding Christians. Woe, woe, woe unto you. You better get your hearts right before you end up there. Your only hope is Jesus Christ. This world is finished. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, I've got a prayer and six vital next steps in the box below the video. Pray that prayer to those steps as soon as possible because no one's guaranteed any more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. Christians, witness and pray every day. It's your job. Do it now. If you are great, look up. Our different draw nigh. We fly soon.